How do you tell one zebra from another? By looking at their stripes, of course, with a special software that can identify their natural barcode. This has allowed conservationists in Kenya to carry out the first census of the Grevy zebra, whose population has plummeted from around 15,000 in the 1980s to around 2,500. Because we do have very low populations of Grevy zebra numbers, every individual that is killed, whether it's for their meat, for their meat or um, due to poaching, for example, for their skins, which doesn't happen so often these days, all of those, effect, all of those incidences do have a significant impact on Grevy zebra populations. Using citizens as scientists, they have been able to count the zebra species. 50 vehicles loaded with teams of scientists, conservationists and volunteers have been photographing every Gavri zebra using digital cameras to allow for geotag images that can be used to process the numbers, location and time. To analyse the results and determine the population, the census will use a new software called Hotspotter that was designed at Princeton University in the United States. It looks for areas on the body where the stripes are bent and they intersect with each other and they record data and call, we call them hotspots. And what it does is it compares all the hotspots on the current picture with the hotspot locations on all the pictures in the archive. And when there's a high match, we get a high score and then we know it's the same individual. Hotspotter is currently analysing all of the data that has been gathered. The results due at the end of March will estimate the size of the Grevy zebra population throughout Kenya.